couldn't give away a magazine on nude women. He said, what the hell is that? You understand? <laughs> it would have no meaning. So all you people think that I guess that's human nature. It isn't. All our values, everything we believe in, good morning, how are you if you're in the army? And if you're Irish, you see a fine Irish lad sitting there. Or if you live in Australia, you say, how are you, mate? Because even your language, your facial expressions reflect your culture. If you lived in Germany 10 years, then you move to France and live there 10 years, you'll speak with a German-French accent. Do you understand that? Okay. So whenever people say, well, I'm, I make my own decisions, you don't make your own decisions. Because the movies, magazines tell you what kind of furniture you want, what kind of refrigerator to buy, what kind of drink, Coca-Cola, whatever the hell it is. So all your decisions are forced by advertising on TV. There'll be no advertising in the future, only information on your TV. Then there are so-called good people who don't want to cut down the forest. There's a forest we need for oxygen. So they walk with signs, please don't cut down the forest. And then there are other people that go to Home Depot and they buy lumber. As long as they buy lumber, they'll cut down the forest. So you're walking with signs, women's rights, men don't give a damn about that. That's your problem. So everybody is selfish, interested in their own works. What's in it for me? And all countries are that way. US goes to other countries because of cheap labor, oil, or something they want. They don't go to bring humanity to a country. And a preacher goes to another country to see if he can get more Catholics or more Presbyterians to donate more to the church. So the Catholic Church says, have as many children as you want, the Lord will provide. And I say to them, are you sure the Lord will provide? I know it. Then sign here. If he doesn't, you will provide. No, they never sign. You understand? If you really believe in something, back it up. Okay? So the Venus Project, to me, will enlighten all people. No matter what you are, Italian, Greek, you all need the same thing. Clean air, clean water, decent home, medical care, and a relevant education. A relevant education means no lawyers, no businessmen, no investment bankers, no one that's parasitic. Parasitic means that does nothing to make the world a better place. When everybody is educated to improve agriculture, language, communication, that's wonderful. So everybody you meet will be your friend in the future. Today, you meet a person, I got just the car you're looking for. I got just the house you're looking for. We're all salespeople. Everybody makes a buck on human misery. If you can't see too well, somebody sells your eyeglasses. You know what I mean? If you got a dental infection, some dentist makes a thousand four hundred bucks on a root canal. So misery supports a lot of the culture. Our job is to build research labs and give them whatever the hell they need. No more digging up dimes and nickels for heart disease, cancer. We give the lab whatever the hell they need. And no more money appealing, going out to Hollywood to try to get a job as an actress. Then the producer pinches your ass. And if you let them do that, you might get a job in the next picture. If you go to bed with them, you'll surely get a job in the next picture. We don't want any of that crap anymore. And you can't make laws say, say no to drugs. As long as you make money selling drugs, no one's going to say no to drugs. Don't you see? Sometimes if you're a dishwasher and you earn minimum wage, minimum wage and people bring more dishes in than you can imagine every day, somebody says, you'll never get out of that. Why don't you sell drugs? You can make a thousand bucks a week. He said, but I'll be poisoning people. They don't give a shit about you. What do you care about them for? So I said, okay, I'll try it. So what is a criminal? To me, a judge. A lawyer, criminal. They can take words, turn them around, make you look bad or good, depending on how much you pay them. So I can't stand lawyers, judges, politicians. They would all be considered criminal. If you don't understand me, King Solomon had a thousand wives. Today he'd be arrested as a bigamist. But everybody admires King Solomon. And they all admire Jesus Christ, but they don't know that Jesus Christ when just before they crucified him, he said, Father, forgive them. He insulted God. Now then he also said, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? That means, why don't you do something about this horrible situation? Nobody seems to understand that. 
They read their Bible, they don't know what the hell they're reading about. They really don't. I've never met a priest that understood religion that was kind and good and forgiving. And if a guy punched me, he turned the other cheek. I never met a Christian. Would you believe that? I heard about them. I've never seen any. I've never been in a church where they personified the teachings of Christ, or Mohammed, or any other church. Now, a lot of Arabs believe that the Arabs need ten wives, because man is always looking. Well, in their world where everybody's covered up, you know, if you're walking down the street with your wife, you could be walking down the street with somebody else. So the whole thing is insane. We want to educate people to restore nature. Don't dump toxic materials in the rivers. So you don't have to tell people that if you have science and technology who that maintain the intelligent management of the Earth's resources. So what I'm saying is use religion. It's a big thing, but get the people to come in to the Venus Project because we do what religion talks about. We don't have any paper proclamations, equal rights to all people. That's bullshit. George Washington, the President of the United States, the first President, had 300 slaves. Did you know that? He'd be a bum and arrested today. So all the people you're taught to admire, the rich, the wealthy, and the powerful, you don't even know who improved agriculture for you. His name isn't anywhere. You go into a park today, there are cannons, war tanks, all the wrong things. There should be statues of people that made the world a better place. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what has to be done. I don't think I have more time. Yeah, no, I can't go into more detail. I don't have the time. Is there any other procedural things you want to get them to do? Or no? Organize to do what I said. Go to different corporations and tell them there are 50 million people that now know about the Venus Project. Will you make a contribution to the uh, Psy Guys movement here? And get that information out of all the other Psy Guys. Don't hope that you can do it alone. They will do it if they fear that their system will not last forever. There is no way you can design a city and say, this is the best city. It's the best you know of up to now. The kids of the future will design their own cities. So the city I design is not utopia. People say, well, Fresco is a utopian. He thinks there are final frontiers. He doesn't. Any city I design as best I know how was what I know up to now. But 10 years from now, the kids will be different. So no one can design the best laptop. You can do the best laptop you know how to do up to now. But 10 years from now, be smaller, lighter, take pictures of your rollers, send you all kinds of information. So don't ever think that there are final frontiers. There are none. Man will keep inventing and changing, inventing and changing, so the distant future, people may live to be 200 years old or more. So there's no limit to what man can do. And if you take them off, destructive weapons. That's about it. Thank you.